Hi, this is Diana from Harp Ski Systems. The video we're showing today is how to adjust your boot cuffs, how to align your cuffs to your legs. This is an important uh, part of our alignment process. If the cuffs are misaligned to the skier's legs, then any underboot alignment that we do is going to be somewhat of a band-aid. The skis are not going to roll on edge and off edge as smoothly as they could. So I have two people with me, one who needs his cuffs moved out, one who's going to need her cuffs moved in. We're going to see how we measure that, see how we adjust the boots, and then we'll take a look at each of their final setups, the boots that they actually use when they ski. So, let's get started. The first step in setting your boot cuffs, there are a couple prerequisites actually. If you need a footbed, you need to have that footbed inside the boot. If you need to do some boot fitting because the shell hits against you, then you need to do that first as well. But we're going to assume that we've done that. So Walker is standing in a set of langs and the langs themselves, if we take a peek, are at their own cuff neutral position, zero on their dial. They're both there. So what we do, we have Walker stand with his boots parallel and they're in the width of stance that he uses in a straight run. If he's just gliding along going straight. So he stands in them with the skis with the feet parallel, we buckle the cuff, we take a look, and we see that Walker's legs are actually touching. He's going to bend forwards just a little bit. We can see that Walker's leg is actually touching the outside of the shell, and there's a significantly larger gap here, no gap there. Move to the other boot, we see same thing. We have a big gap on the inside and contact right there. His leg is touching on the outside. Ideally, we'd like to see that the cuff is parallel to the leg or that it has an even gap on both sides. So in Walker's case, what we need to do, we need to make this cuff lean further to the outside so that this portion of the cuff comes closer to this side of his leg this portion of the cuff needs to move away from his leg. Same thing, mirror on this side. The cuff, the boot top, needs to lean more to the outside so that this comes closer, diminishes the gap, so that this portion of the cuff goes away from his leg and creates a larger gap. To do that, we are going to loosen the adjustment, which on the lang is only on the outside. We are going to loosen it and then we are going to push down on the lateral side, the outside of the cuff. What that's going to do is create some of that tipping action. So I'm going to do that adjustment and then we'll cut back in. If you take a look now at the adjustment on the wang, you can see that the, the metal circle with the little hash marks is now sitting lower relative to the screw. We have loosened it, pushed down and then retightened it. We've done that on both boots. Let's take a look and see how we did. We're boots parallel, same stance with the, as before, boots buckle lightly. All right, Walker, bend your knees forwards a little bit. Try to get them not all the way forwards, not all the way upright, somewhere in between. If we take a look at this leg, you can see that he's no longer riding on the edge of the cuff and we have now a much more even gap about the same amount of distance here as we have here. Take a look at his left leg. We can see that the left leg, the situation, the cuff is, is better aligned. It's closer to parallel than it was before, but it still isn't as far out as we would like it to be. He is closer on the lateral side still and has a larger gap here. This is as far as the boot can go. So if we were just limiting ourselves to what the boot offers, and this would be as good as it gets. But if we're able to get a boot that has more travel of the cuff, then it's gonna ski better for Walker. So we've seen what do we do when we need to tip the cuffs out further to match a person's legs. We're gonna to switch to Becky and we're gonna see the opposite situation. Here is Becky. These are uh, very similar to the boots that she normally uses. So once again, we have her footbeds in the boot. If she had needed any fitting, it's been done. Uh, and they are 
parallel and in the width of stance that she uses when gliding along without making turns. So let's take a peek. We are going to see on Becky's leg, so she stands here, flex just a little bit forwards, Becky. We can see that Becky has the inside of the cuff digging into her leg on both. And there is a larger, there's a gap on the outside. So if you remember, on Walker it was different. On Walker it was touching on the outside, we had the gap on the inside. On Becky we had it touching on the inside. Gap on the outside, pull back a little bit. This cuff is tipped out relative to Becky's leg. We want to tip this cuff more vertical so that it lines up better with her leg. Same thing here. This cuff is already tipped out. We want to tip this cuff to the inside so that it ceases to touch on the inside and comes a little bit closer on the outside. The head boot has double cuff canting. It has an adjustment on the inside and the outside. So for each one of them, we're gonna use that adjustment. The inside, we're gonna move down. The outside of the boot, we are going to move up. What that will effectively do is tip the cuff to the inside. So we're going to take a break, we're going to make that change, and then we'll come back and show it to you. So we have tipped both of Becky's cuffs to the inside as far as they go. And if we look closely, we see that this, for Becky, is really not quite enough for her to ski well. Even though it is, the cuff on this side is a little more upright. The cuff on this side is more upright. Remember, we did that by moving the inside down, moving the outside of the cuff, the adjustment up. But if we take a look, we see that Becky is still hard up against the inside of the cuff. It's still contacting her leg. Although her left leg, if we take, take a look, it's now just grazing the inside. You can see that the cuff has moved but it still is quite biased against her leg. This would not ski that well for Becky, but you can see the process that we've gone through to try to improve it. Now, each, each of them, Becky and Walker, is gonna put on their own boots so that we can see where their own cuffs line up in their skiing. These are the head boots that Becky was just wearing. The cuffs are still tipped as far to the inside as they go on this particular model. So just take a look and we know that this was still, the cuffs were still tipped out too far for Becky's legs. But then I'm going to show you her boots too where we have done some retrofitting to be able to tip the cuffs further to the inside. So I'll show you those boots and then we'll show you Becky wearing those boots. Here are Becky's current boots. If you take a look, especially on these with the yellow spine flex adjuster, you can really see that the cuff has been tipped to the inside, not just a vertical, but the cuff is leaned in, leaned in on each of these boots. Becky's back in her boots. There's one important consideration here. If you take a peek, you'll see that Becky's boots have plates on the bottom. Those are the canting plates. If a boot has already been canted on the soles, whether by an added plate, by shaving, by an intrasole plate, you have to decant it in order to look at the cuffs. We want to always set the cuffs, adjust the cuffs before we've done any under boot canting. So even though Becky has those plates, we have brought her back to zero and zero on the angles. These are her boots peak. You can see that on the right boot where the stock adjustment still had the cuff digging into her leg, it's now just grazing and the outside has a tiny gap. And if we look at her left leg, bend forwards a teeny bit Becky, there we go. You can see we have finally a tiny, tiny, tiny little gap on the inside and similar, similar gap on the outside. And that's by moving the cuffs further to the inside than the stock adjustment. But that's what ends up skiing pretty well for Becky. Now we're going to take a look at that same thing for Walker. Here are the Lang boots that we showed Walker wearing. So you can take a look and you can really see the angle of the cuff tipped out relative to the lower. 
Same thing here, you can really see that the cuff is leaned to the outside compared to the lower, but we know that this was not quite enough, especially on Walker's left leg. Here are Walker's actual ski boots. Once again, he has undersole alignment plates, you can see those. But once again, we have neutralized that canting, brought it back to zero. And you can take a look and see for sure the left cuff tipped way to the outside, angled very far from vertical, tipped towards outside. Right boot tipped out there, not quite as much as the left, but a significant amount. So now we'll take a peek at how they look on Walker's legs. So we have Walker standing in his own boots now. Take a look at his alignment in them, the cuff alignment. Bend your knees forwards, Walker. Great. And we don't want them to be touching on the shin. We want about an even space be, be in front of the shin and then behind the calf. Now look at his right leg. And we have to remember that on Walker, his, his widest portion is kind of just aft on his leg. So right here is his wide place. And you can see we've got about a one centimeter gap on the outside, the lateral side, and we have very, very similar, perhaps tiny bit less, but really, 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 really similar gap now on the medial side and the lateral side. And here is his left leg. On his left leg, and again, if we look, here's his wide spot, a little bit closer to a centimeter gap on the lateral side. We have just a little bit less on the medial side. Remember, in the Lang boots, even when we had tipped the cuffs out as far as they would go, Walker was still actually in contact here. So it's super that we now have moved the cuff far enough to the outside that he has a gap there. So to recap the way that we adjust boot cuffs, if you have Legs like walkers that are curved to the outside, if you need to lean your boot cuffs further to the outside in order to get a more even gap on the lateral side with the medial side. If you have dual cuff canting, as these boots do, you're going to move the medial side of the cuff up, the lateral side of the cuff down. That's going to lean the boot cuff to the outside. It will decrease any gap that you have on the medial side of the leg, it will increase the gap on the lateral side of the leg. If you have a single cuff canting boot, those are always on the lateral side, then you're going to move that side, the lateral side of the cuff downwards to lean the cuff out. If you need to move the cuffs to the inside, then we're going to do the opposite. If you have dual cuff canting, you would move the medial side of the cuff down, the lateral side of the cuff up. That would lean the cuff to the inside. It would increase the gap on the medial side of the leg. It would decrease the gap on the lateral side. If your boot only has single cuff canting on the lateral side, to move your cuff inwards, you would move the lateral side of the cuff up. Take some time at home to set yourself up in front of a mirror and see where your cuffs align relative to your legs. If they're misaligned and you can make some changes in your boots to make them better aligned, you're going to find it easier to roll on edge, easier to roll off edge, and for a lot of skiers it's physically more comfortable in how the tongue and the cuff fit around your leg. If you have any questions, send us an email or give us a call. Thanks for watching.